Good morning, it's Friday the 16th of February, 2024, and we are uh, now just about, just going under 1,300 miles left to Hawaii, um, basically right out in the middle of the Pacific between Hawaii and the U.S. West Coast. Uh, the winds kind of died down again. We didn't go far enough south. Um, uh, the, had we gone more south, we'd have more wind, but it makes the trip longer yet again. And um, so, yeah, we're going more of a more of a direct course to Hawaii from this point. Uh, we're right around 20 degrees latitude, and we drop below and above 20 degrees, but basically we're going west at 20 degrees. Um, some of you have asked uh, questions in the past about why we don't just go straight to our destination. Uh, I know that those of you who are sailors, you know, this is obvious to you, but for those of you who are not, you can't go directly against the wind um, for obvious reasons. You know, you have to have an angle to sail. Um, and the same thing applies to going directly downwind. Um, when the wind's directly behind you, the sail, uh, it's also very inefficient. It, it just pull, pushes you. It, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't provide any lift, really. So you get a faster speed and uh, uh, much better sailing conditions if you angle off downwind as well. So, and then you jibe. So it's called tacking when you're going into the wind and you go through the wind. To the other direction that's called tacking and when you're going downwind and you shift the wind from one side of the boat to the other it's called jiving and so that's what we've been doing if you look at our course you'll see that uh, if you look at the tracking course you'll see that we go north and then all of a sudden now the eels see the direction change to going just a little bit south of west and so we do this kind of zigzag because we've got east winds behind us right now uh, now on the weekend, we've got some big, bigger weather coming. Um, we've got some big swells coming on Friday and through Saturday. And then Sunday, it's pretty dead. And then Sunday night, the new system comes in and it brings heavy north winds, which that's really nice, actually, because we can go directly towards Hawaii with a north wind. The north wind is really a, a great wind for sailing directly west. So that's uh, called a beam reach. Uh, the wind's on the side. And uh, this boat really likes a beam reach. It's always trying to go on a beam reach. The wind vane steering likes a beam, beam reach. So so that's, uh, that's what's happening today. We're just kind of jibing back and forth really slow. And it's a beautiful day. And the sun's coming up yet again on my morning watch. Got a few things we have to do when we get to Hawaii, but um, we won't have a whole lot of time there. We're only going to have about a month before we head to American Samoa. So we'll just keep plugging our way around the world here. Uh, and remember, my my goal is to sail around the world. It's really, it's really not to stop in every little place. So um, it's not like most people's circumnavigation. They're going to spend years and see everything, stop everywhere. I'd like to do that, but I have a family at home, and my goal is to circumnavigate this planet. So Trinidad is my goal, my big goal, because at that point I will have circumnavigated the globe because I've already done that other portion of it. So, anyway, um, that's it for this morning. Thanks a lot. Good evening. We are sitting in the cockpit. Uh, we'd like to be going a little faster, but man, it is nice out here tonight. It really is beautiful. So I'm going to show you what we're looking at here in the cockpit right now. 
Um, we're getting ready to watch a movie. We're going to watch Age of Adeline, which is one of my favorite movies. Uh, so Norm's going to open up his little cabin and we're going to watch that once it gets dark out here. So we're just kind of having a, a evening right now. So here we go. There's my girl. She's on watch right now. What are you munching on? Nuts. You never, you never eaten so many nuts in your life, have you? Freaking life! No, I've never <laughs> eaten so many nuts. Oh, keto dad, keto dad. I'm learning to like nuts, so <laughs> she's gonna. <laughs> I'm getting there. From now I on, whenever you eat, this wouldn't trip <laughs> be at saying that I really disliked eating nuts just by themselves. It was something that I didn't like to do. And now I said that I didn't like almonds when we started this trip, and now almonds might be my favorite nut. <laughs> but that just might be because they are the most salty of all the nuts. Yeah. They're the saltiest. Yeah, because I don't get really salty nuts and stuff. They're yeah. just kind of But these ones are healthy. extra kind of salted almonds. Roasted. Yeah. Roasted almonds, and I, that's what I'm going for. So. But How are you doing? Doing good. <laughs> doing good. Uh, we had a lazy day today. Dad yeah. kind of slept in. What did Dad do all day? Oh slept, my gosh. Which is something that Dad never does all day. <laughs> That's usually my go-to. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was I'm today. Tired. I just was like super yeah. tired. Wow, look at that Beautiful. sky. Sky is golden now. It's a golden So welcome to our trip to Hawaii tonight. Day 5,648. Wow, that is pretty with that big drifter sail out. Sunsets. I don't often see sunsets. I'm usually asleep right now and I get to see the sun rises, but since I slept all day today, I'm awake for the sunset tonight, which is nice. Wow, it really is pretty with that sail there. We're expecting some big swells tonight from a storm that's up to the north of us. It's creating some big swells that are come, gonna come running down here tonight and through tomorrow. We're gonna have light air until Monday. So tomorrow we're gonna fly the spinnaker again in the morning. We don't like flying it at night, but we're gonna fly it tomorrow We'll fly the drifter tonight. And with the swells, we may have to raise the main and we will see how much of the main. The main always gives us a little boat a weather helm, so we'll see, but. Yep. You are beautiful with the sunset behind oh, you. Oh, thanks, Dan. Look at that. It's pretty. It's pretty on your, the golden skies make the ocean look golden. Look at that. Pretty beautiful. It is pretty, isn't it? Wow. Mm -hmm. People are going to think I doctored these photos. No. And they are not no doctored. It. No, it's, it's, there's barely a cloud in the sky, too. Yeah, super, super, super clear night, which means the stars are going to be super bright. There's a crescent moon tonight with uh, Jupiter not too far away from it, yeah. and it looked the other night they were close together mm -hmm. and it reminded me of the South Carolina flag. I think it was, they were in conjunction actually. You know how uh, the South mm -hmm. Carolina flag has the yeah. crescent moon and the yeah. it's Jupiter I think but and then it's got the palm tree which we didn't have the palm tree. Yeah no palm trees yet. We're on our way. Yeah we will we'll get to palm tree Eventually. palm tree land. We're thinking actually about, I think we have about 15 to 17 days left, maybe. But maybe we'll get some more wind and we'll have to do it in 13 or 14. But we're down to about 1,200 miles left. Just a little over 1,200 miles, which is pretty damn nice, actually. Yeah. Out of a 3,000 mile voyage, yeah. we still have some food left. We're getting down to where I'm having a little bit more challenge to create food that everybody likes. But I don't have anybody that complains on this boat, so, nope. so that's good. 
pick that big sail. Yeah, Mig. Look at the little Mig go. She's been a great little boat. This is, uh, this will be our, by the time we get to Hawaii, it'll be about 4,500 miles that Norman and I have sailed MIG. And with Evie May, it's about 5,500 miles that we've sailed on North Sea 27s between Evie May and MIG. So I'm gonna do a little update on the motor, the electric motor, and what we think of it. I'm gonna have a whole video about that, kind of a review not just the electric motor in general, but also the electric motor, specifically the uh, electric yacht QT10 motor that we have and the Battleborn batteries, the whole system. Well, the pros and the cons and what we would change if anything and what we wouldn't. And I'll give you a little hint right now, we would not change back to a diesel motor. We, if for no other reason than this great big battery bank has been just fantastic for everything else on the boat. We didn't need the motor, so some of you are saying, yeah, but what if you did? Well, some people would have said we did need the motor right now, that we'd be motoring right now, which is true, but we don't need it, and I honestly wouldn't have used it. And I have proof right here, this girl, I had a brand new Beta Marine engine in Wandering Dolphin on a... We sailed to Hawaii in 2014. We spent almost two weeks with no wind. We were practically <laughs> going backwards. The only reason... With that tanks full of diesel. Tanks full of diesel. We didn't, I think we may have turned it on after about two weeks. To charge for batteries. For one day to charge the batteries. Well, also... And, well, we had the generator to charge the batteries. Yeah, that's But I true. think that the... The mental, like, we aren't, haven't moved in two weeks kicked in, and everybody <laughs> begged my dad to turn it on just so we could feel movement. <laughs> and like I reluctantly day. did. And he, you did. But it was for one day <laughs> on our sail to Hawaii. So, I don't, diesel so, motor, electric engine, like, I don't think it makes a difference. So, for the way I sail, no. you agree, yeah, I, well, I probably sailboat. would never use it. It's a sailboat. Yep. It's a sailboat. We're sailing. We're sailing to Hawaii. No matter how long it takes. <laughs> we're sailing to Hawaii. Wow, look at that sunset. Or sunrise. Yeah. Sunset. It's a sunset. It a sunset. Let's see if I can get down here. Oh my That's goodness. That is beautiful. I'm recording the whole thing. It is beautiful. what happens out here you know you have these times where it's so beautiful and it's so calm and it's so pleasant that you forget about yeah. the torture and the misery <laughs> and, and you just forget about it and this overwhelms it and then when you're back in your rocking chair at home this is what you remember. You don't really remember getting beat to hell. It's funny, a guy asked, asked me, well, one of my patrons, I won't say his name, he's a great guy. He knows who he is when he hears this video. During the gale, I really appreciate my patrons that check on me and ask how I'm doing. And he sent me a message on the inReach and he asked how we were doing out there knowing that we were in that gale and I told him he said, I would switch places with you in a second. And I snapped back as much as you can snap back on a text and said, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> That's ignorant. <laughs> you think you would, but you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to switch places with me right now. And, uh, you know, that's the thing is when you're at home and you're, you're dreaming of being out here, you think, oh, I'd love to be out there and have, you know, have the experience of the boat being beat to shit. And what I said to him was this, say you really like boxing, you love boxing and you go to the, to the gym and you jump in the ring and you, you love it. It's like your favorite thing in the world. 
But then one day you go and you jump in the ring and ten guys jump in there with you and beat the shit out of you for 12 to 14 hours. At that point, you don't love boxing anymore and you really don't want to be in that situation. And that's what it's like out here. I love sailing and I specifically love sailing offshore. But I really don't get like getting beat the hell up by ten big old burly gorillas either. That's a pretty good analogy, isn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I had the ability to change places with him, I would have done it all at that moment. <laughs> and he would have liked it for about 10, 20 minutes. <laughs> it ain't nice. But this is nice. Oh my goodness. This is why we do it. Right, honey? Yep. This is what it's all about. And sharing it with you has been really wonderful. I love that. Pleasure is mine. All right, well, I'm gonna sign this off. We're gonna watch our movie tonight. And uh, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful time wherever you're at right now and uh, spending some time with people that you love and getting to experience something with them because that's what all this is about. That's what life's about. Spend time with the people that matter and doing things that you love. Don't spend all your time doing shit you hate just for money and um, spending time with people you don't like just because you have to. Take the time, go see that person that you love and you want to spend time with. Because it doesn't last forever. You don't ever know how long you got with those people either. So, all right. Good night from Sailing Vessel MIG. Sean.